upgrading is particularly for laborers and it's timeless. You can use it when you want. I uh, hope it helps you. Uh, Libra is <laughs> one of my favorites, but is together with Leo my favorite sign. Librans keep me calm and balanced, and I love doing readings for Librans. So I hope you can use this. I hope it helps you in some way. Um, please like and subscribe, and um, hopefully this is going to really make a change to the way you're feeling at the moment. Okay, so Libra, let's start with you guys and see what we can find out. Libra, this is a reading for you for the next month for May. Okay, this is going to be for May. I'll do a reading. I'm going to try and do readings for everyone uh, and cover the time scales as well. So I'd say this is for the next two months. But as I say, it's timeless. So officially it's for the next two months, but it's timeless because you can use these readings whenever you want and they will help you, I hope, a lot. Okay, so if you've got any Librans, if you know any Librans, if you're a Libran, as I say, beautiful, I love Librans, and they're always surrounding me because I'm so much an indigo Leo. <laughs> Great of indigo Leo. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we can pull for you guys, all right? Let's shuffle the cards. Let's shuffle the cards. And let's see what we get. And let's do some readings for you Libran guys. Woo! Okay. Hope you're having a beautiful day today, guys. Um, beautiful sunshine. This is actually May, as you know. Beautiful sunshine in the UK. 2020, the year of vision. It's all good. I'm getting beautiful channeling coming through. You're all going to be fine. Okay, guys, let me pull some cards. Right, so we'll do eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards for Librans. Okay, we've got eight cards here for Librans. Let's see what we've got. We've got, okay, we've got Seven of Swords. We've got King of Cups. I love that card. That's absolutely beautiful. It's a very beautiful, caring Libra, King of Cups. We've got Two of Swords. We've got the Emperor. Wow, that goes beautifully with the King of Cups. We've got the High Priestess. Yes, this is so right for Librans because you guys are just so spiritual and it fits beautifully. We've got the Queen of Cups. Wow, we've got the King and the Queen of Cups. This is beautiful. Yes, we've got the Eight of Swords. I knew we'd get that for Librans. And we've got the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, 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 wow. Such amazing cards. Okay. Okay, let's have a look at the issues that you Librans are having at the moment. Okay, so you've got some deception around you. Ten of Swords, deception. Something is deceiving you, whether it's your mind or whether it's something in life, but you're not actually going with your, your gut. You're not going with your heart. You're, the mind is deceiving you, and it could be there's someone around you is actually deceiving you, okay? So... We have also got the Two of Swords, and, and you feel at the moment stuck between a rock and a hard place. In a lot of situations in life, you're not able to, um, to negotiate, for, uh, to focus directly. You feel like two things are happening, and you don't know what to do. It's like there's two things happening that are quite serious. Sorry. They're serious, and you're stuck in the middle. You're stuck in the middle. You don't know what to do. Now, unfortunately, um, you also got, sorry about that. Uh, to, unfortunately, you also got the Eight of Swords. Now, this is a very, very obvious card that I would say a Libra would end up with because a Libra tends to be, doesn't take care of themselves enough. Librans are very giving, they're always giving out, they're very nurturing, they're very loving. They tend to forget about themselves and they tie themselves in knots. And I mean, look what she's done to herself here. And you tend to self-sabotage. I have to say this, Librans, but stop self-sabotaging yourself. I'm going to give you some tough love here. Hmm? 
you self-sabotage yourself. And when you get to yourself tied in knots, you cannot find a, a way out. Oh, goodness me. It's falling down all the time. Cut this around. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Librans. You need to find a way out of self-sabotage and keeping yourself trapped. Because this card is, can you see? She cannot see anything. Even though you're full of wisdom, I mean, look at this. You've got the emperor. You've got the, you've got the, the high priestess, for God's sake. You've got the high priestess. You are intuitive. You are, this is the strongest card of intuition and mysticism and psychic abilities. So why are you letting yourself self-sabotage and get stuck? At the moment, you're stuck, okay? And we need to find ways how to get you out of it. But you are the high priestess, so meditation, mysticism, psychic abilities will get you out of this. You are surrounded by someone or something that is deceiving you. It's holding you back, whether it's your mind. If you need to meditate, then you need to focus your meditation. Stop, don't let the mind drag you away from being the beautiful high priestess, okay? Right. Now, as I say, you have the capacity, you are the emperor, you are the king of bed, you are beautiful. But you, you have relationship, your relationships can be beautiful. They're full of love, full of abundance. You can have abundance. You can have everything. The Ten of Pentacles is beautiful. It's abundance, it's family. You have got lots of love around you. You are beautiful, beautiful. You beautiful souls. You've got the King of Pentacles, very sensitive. Lots of feminine energy in you, but lots and lots of, the King of Cups, sorry, lots of love, lots of love around you. You've got lots of love in you. You're very sensitive. You've got a great feminine energy. If you're a man, you've got a great feminine energy. And you've got the Queen of Cups as well. You can make this up at some stage. You are beautiful. You've got all this energy, this beautiful Libra energy inside of you, okay? Beautiful Libra energy, full of love, full of sensitivity. So what we're going to do with you, because you self-sabotage and you are being deceived, and yet you are the high priestess. What are we going to do with you? Okay, let's see. How can we help our beautiful Libra friends to come out of this self-sabotage, holding themselves back, and letting them be, get deceived when they've got this beautiful high priestess psychic energy and they've got this beautiful queen of cups full of love basically they've got everything but they hold themselves back and they've also got the beauty of an amazing abundant relationship look at that and money and success everywhere right what how can we help our beautiful Libra friends here how oh. Let's pull some more cards and let's see. Right, let's see what can we do here. So, the world. I've had this before with the Libra. Ah, yes, you carry your baggage with you, guys. You see, the Six of Swords. Wherever you go, you take your baggage with you. So, even if you're in a good space with your loved one, you're still carrying that baggage with you. You're carrying that baggage with you. You're carrying the Eight of Swords with you. You need to learn how to let that go because you can have the world. You can come full circle. There's some karma going around here as well. You have some karma that needs to be released. How can you release this karma? Let's shuffle the cards. How can you release this karma, Libras? What can we do to help the Libra release this karma? The King of Pentacles. Again, loads of abundance coming towards you. You have the ability to have everything, everything, but you hold yourself back. So how can we stop from what this is trying to get you out of denial? How are we going to get our Libra friends out of the self-sabotage of the Eight of Swords and taking the baggage everywhere they go? When they have it all there, it's all there for them. They just don't recognize it. What do they need to do? In order to come out of this, let's choose three cards. One, two, three. And we'll put them together, okay? Let's see. Three cards. Right. I knew that was coming. The hangman. Okay, they need to take time. They need to meditate and get into the light. 
the one, three of wands is that they actually are coming, they know what it is they want, so they need to stand tall in that. And then we have the three of pentacles upside down, which is interesting. Okay, so how does this come out together? Let's see. The three of pentacles upside down means there is a third person in this relationship, Libras. There's something that's holding you back. And I keep saying this, there's something that's holding you back. It could be a person, we said the mind is deceiving you. I'm just going to get some water. Have a think about it, Libras. I'm just going to get some water. Okay, I'm just going to get some water. Something is holding you back, Librans. Something is holding you back, whether it's... Um, something is holding you back. Let's have a look again. You have... You take your baggage with you. That holds you back all the time. Uh, you take your baggage with you. So that's holding you back. Okay. You need... You sabotage... And there is something deceiving you, whether it's the mind or a person around you or energies from the past. This is karma as well. We've got the world, which is karma. And so you need to take time. You need to hang loose like a goof. <laughs> you need to take time. You need to meditate. You need to breathe. You need to take time in order to release yourself out of all of this. You need to release yourself. Where's the two other cards I chose? I chose another two, didn't I? I tried it there. I did those already. Yeah, you need to release yourself. There's something holding you back. From the, it could be a person. I think it's the mind that holds you back. You let your mind tell you. Uh, um, you sometimes you let your mind lead you to self-sabotage. Um, you're not completing your journey. That is your journey. Your beautiful shining stars, Librans. I want to pull some more cards for you here. How can Libran come into their beautiful shining star that they are? What else can they do in order to come out of this and come into the beautiful shining stars that they are? Right, one, two, three. Okay, you 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 have you do tend to let yourself worry, so you need to stop worrying, okay? Ooh, we have temperance upside down. You are too loving towards everyone. That makes a lot of sense. You're everybody else's healing angel. You're everybody else's kind, loving, healing angel. As we said, you're the high priestess. Give that to you now. Nurture yourself. And the third one is the king of swords. You need to be more focused. You need to be more focused. You need to really cut through the crap, so to speak. You need to be focused on what you want. You need to be to stop worrying. Stop lying there every night, worrying yourself. You need to listen to this over and over because I know it will take a, a while to get into you, Librans. You're such a kind, loving, giving outside. You're always giving to others, giving to others, giving to others. Let's pull some pussycat cards for you. Okay, how else can we help our beautiful Libra friend? You need to really, you need to stop giving to others and nurturing yourself. You are the high priestess. Take that back to you. Meditation, you use your intuition and cut through the bullshit. Keep away from things that are pushing you to, to make you want to sabotage because you keep giving and giving and giving, and something inside you says, You know what? I'm pissed off with this. I don't like this. I want to give to me now. It's your time to shine. And it's funny because I remember reading that Libans were going to come out of their comfort zone now in this May and June. And this is very, very, very true. So I hope this is helping you, my darling. The Libra, and as I say, you guys are amazing. I love you to bits. But you don't look after yourself enough. You're always giving your light away. And I'm asking you now to take the light back for yourself through meditation, through becoming the high priestess, Stop worrying. Give it all up. The angel is upside down here. The angel is suspended in the air. So is the hanged man. Okay? These two cards, you've got the hangman. That is, again, I want you to suspend yourself from life. Hang. Let, hang loose like a goose. Give yourself a chance to, to build yourself up again. And also the angel hanging upside down. 
instead of flying all over the place and helping everybody else, it's time to breathe. It's time to take time for you now. Okay? Hang upside down. Hang loose. Let the blood get back into your brain, into, your, into the mind. You know, when you hang like that, hang in suspension and trust. It's all about trust. Okay, let's put some pussycat cards for you. So we've got, let's see, we've got <laughs> the king of wands. I told you, you're going to manifest. And when you do all of that, you will become a great manifester, a huge manifester, able to go out there. Everything is yours. We've got the, what's this? The love is upside down, okay? So that's exactly what I said in the beginning. You're clashing with yourself, you're clashing with others. It's time to fall back in love with yourself. And one more. And also relationships may be not going as well as you like them to go at the moment. That's why the love is upside down. But that's because you give too much. It's now your time to take. <laughs> your time to take back, my darlings. It's your time to take back. As you can see from the pussy cats, they're upside down. The lovers are upside down. You know, partnerships are not working very well at the moment because you're giving too much. And the queen of wands, queen of wands upside down again. It's very interesting that you've got the queen of wands upside down here, and you've got the the Queen of Wands upside down and the King of Wands the right side up. The battle, as you see, is going on between you. The neck, okay, so the feminine side is not doing very well. It's upside down. You're not nurturing yourself. You're not giving yourself enough. You need to, you know, the feminine side, the Queen of Wands is upside down, okay? The King of Wands is right side up. There's too much masculine energy. There's too much giving and going and instead of being you're doing okay so you need to take time out to meditate just having some water the king of wands upside down can be very destructive there can be a masculine energy around you that oh sorry no it's the right side up sorry scrap that it's the right side up the King of Wands is very powerful, but you need to find the balance. If the Queen of Wands was right side up, there would be the balance that you required as a leader. Okay, let's pull. So you need balance, you need rest, you need meditation. You need to, to give to yourself, self-nurturing, self-nurturing. You're between a rock and a hard place at the moment. You're, you're going through too much and you're giving too much to others. You need to take a lot of time for yourself, Legions. <clears throat> okay, I've pulled Archangel Michael for you. Archangel Michael, are you feeling it's sapphire? You need to have sapphire around you? Blue. <laughs> the throat chakra, guys. The throat chakra. You need to have the throat chakra. Uh, to work on your throat chakra, you need to say what you feel. You need to talk and say exactly what you want to say. Don't hide anymore. Are you feeling confused? Are you in search of wisdom and deeper spiritual insights? Engage in illuminating activities such as meditation, contemplation, and reflection to better understand the true nature of reality. Pray. Allow for spiritual truths to be revealed. Archangel Michael, I am blessed with deep understanding. I have a clear view of the truth. I am grateful I have mental clarity. My spiritual life is full. I love to share my blessings with others. I have great poise and grace, okay? So you can become everything you want to be. You need the sapphire, you need the blue, you need the communication to all of those that are draining you because they're draining you. Look at you, stuck there completely bound up but you are the high priestess you are the king of wands a sword sorry you cut through all that and you become the beautiful beautiful high priestess okay listen to this a few more times there's lots of messages in it right i'm going to read to give you now um what else do we need they all the three cards um messages messages from 
we've got here. Messages. What else are we going to read today? Messages from heaven. Let's pull a card for you. Messages from heaven. Messages from heaven. Okay. And a nice card from my beautiful Libra. Who I adore. I adore you, Libras. I just want you to take back your power, your communication. Okay. Find a way to bring harmony back into your life. Take the first step. There you go. That is exactly what you need to do. You need to balance yourself, bring the harmony back into your life. The first step is that you need to meditate. You need to say no. You need to tune into your intuition and don't let that mind deceive you and don't let others deceive you. Okay? What else have we got here? Deception. We said the mind is deceiving you, someone is deceiving you. <clears throat> you are the king or queen of cups. You're full of love. You are balanced. You are love. Okay, I hope that helped you, my gorgeous Librans. Um, oh, hang on. I didn't do how to stay sane in the crazy world. Let's see if I can stay sane in the crazy world. Right. I'm going to do how to stay sane in the crazy world card. This is the cards that I've channeled. And you can use, you know, these, you can get these cards off of me if you want. You can get a reading from me. Please contact me at movingontv1 at gmail.com and I can do a private reading for you. If you can't afford to pay much, then donations. We can sort of something out these days. Right. <laughs> Please subscribe to Moving On TV so you can get more of these messages. I might bring on different tarot readers to do different to do this because it's so exciting and I have to explain to someone I know is a wonderful tarot reader so she can do some as well. So I don't have to do all of them. Right, we pulled the second arrow, okay? Again, this is really congruent with you because Librans, basically what happens is you've chosen a very powerful card, but I'm not going to let myself be hit by another arrow. Okay, the way you feel very tired, angry, scared or emotional, in some kind of way, you may do. I usually feel that way in the morning. Today, you're being guided to understand that this emotion is your first arrow. So you wake up and you may feel tired or angry or anything like that. Okay, that's your first arrow. Uh, it's there, you can't do anything about it. However, if you use it to hurt yourself or others or carry on being negative or letting people walk all over you, you are shooting a second arrow into your body. So stop, Librans, good luck. Today, I'm not going to let myself be hit by another arrow, okay? Hope that helped you guys. Please watch again and again and again. Let this sink into you because it may not sink in in the first time. As I say, um, everything will be down below. I love you lots and this will keep you going for a couple of months. It's timeless and it is around your character of Libra. So I love you lots. Take care now. Bye.